All right, uh, Jamal Finkley, Black Tree TV. Hi, Enrico. Hi, hi Andrea. Uh, Andrea. I know it's a name. Andrea. That's how I say it. Andrea. Uh, first, uh, first, I love Luca. I love like the, I love the, the the story that's talking of xenophobia or homophobia, whatever whatever describes people that are just scared of other people. And I I love the way that story was weaved. I thought it was like brilliantly done. I I, I really was impressed by the movie, so was my daughter. Um, how does it feel when you do these stories that's talking to what we're dealing with in society, but saying it in a way that kids and adults can understand without having to, you know, process it in a debate, you know? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's, uh, I'm, I'm so glad you you felt all those things. Yeah, thank you for sharing. Uh, yeah, we felt uh, like we, we were all going through this social changes uh uh everything it, it was so part of this movie strangely the the pandemic everything that it, when it came down to you know at first this was just about a friendship but we realized there was always within the story the fact that there's two factions and that they don't understand each other they're afraid of each other and the interesting puzzle was to figure out how to make those two stories work together because um, it's a story just about one friend helping the other, um, seeing the other person challenging him. And that was a bit what I experienced as a kid. But then quickly we realized that the, the reason they're sea monsters, the reason why having the sea monsterness was interesting is that at that age, we in one way or the other feel out of place or feel odd in our own skin and right so, so there was something that we realized well actually it's kind of universal in many different ways that we can feel insecure uh, uh about ourselves. and then we realized okay well the, the heart of this certainly has this wonderful like here i am i have to i need to thanks to the friends around me see myself accept myself and here world de deal with it you know kind of like uh, let the chips fall where they may so it was really about trying to make sure that people could bring their own their own uh, experience to it i, I hope we it, it, the, the challenge was leaving it open again enough that that we can you know as an audience feel for Luca in our own different ways. But I will say that that moment for me, it's encapsulated when we talked about toward the end of the movie, there's a moment where a mother is worried about her son going out into the world. It's a dangerous world. And yeah. the grandma is saying, well, yeah, there, there, there are people will never accept them. But I think he knows how to find the good ones, right? So that, that to me became, became a really, really important line that we carefully talked about because like it would be so you know uh, pat and wrong to say everybody loves him now and happy ending and it's over so that encapsulated so much for me in a way of like well friendship curiosity for each other can hopefully bridge fears um for that, that, that some of these factions have for each other so even massimo for example was this guy who was very entrenched is the father of the of Julia um, as this opportunity to get to know these kids, and now he can't hate them anymore. He can't fear them anymore. So I, I'm glad you picked up on it. It, it was just the orchestrating. How do they fit together? Are we are we being honest with it? And are can it be read in, in all you know somewhat different ways? But with that, accept you know like putting yourself out there and accepting yourself. Excellent answer. This this question is for both of you guys because uh, I know that all movie making is a collaborative sport, but it seems like, and I've, I've visited uh, Pixar's campus that that you know when making an animated movie is is so many players in a team that make that that happen. And when I, I look at both of you guys, um, you know, kind of resume or IMDb, I know that you started in the, the art, the animation department, and doing background artists, Enrico, and then you went to art department do a storyboard before you um you know wrote and directed la luna but does it take that to be a director in animation to have take being in all of those positions in animation to be able to direct it to to understand the, the whole process or i know other movie makers could 
kind of be directors without having to have been a cameraman or or whatever so forth i mean in animation do you feel that you need to yeah i i feel like there, there there's two answers to it one is actually i don't think so one is actually i don't think so but there are a lot of steps to you know you you don't have to have to have know everything because you will have amazing collaborators that didn't know plenty um and then that was part of the process of like uh, owning up to that and like together we're going to make actually a better movie than even if I knew everything because that, that I, I treasure collaboration that way and growth and learning right so there's a lot that you can learn on on it but I will say that 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 when I talk to students I'm like well for example if you, if your goal is to get a job at Pixar that's a great dream but I wouldn't hold that to be the like, oh, I'm, I'm not getting any, I'm not, I'm waiting for that to drop. Because I, my history, I studied engineering and I was doing the wrong thing. Then I started making, studying arts. Then I got, you know, you put the foot in the door and I was, the, the thing about designing props or background was just like, that's all I could get. And I learned on the job. So I do feel that, uh, there are steps along the way and, and that often on the actual job, you learn so much. So I wouldn't say you need everything, but I'll say the other side of this is that make your own thing because you can be the director of your own little comic. You can be the director of your own little phone shot uh, film. That is the wonderful freedom. And honestly, even in my career, making something that was my own, I was the side project that I was doing for fun. Those end up sometimes giving you the breaks you need to go forward in your career. And Andrea, just as a, as a, as a woman and Enrico as a Italian um, minority, like how, how do we get more people that's different to get these opportunities? Like are there other programs where they could learn so that the, the game continues to be more diverse? I know you have Yates and uh, you have Frank Abney and other people that's there. But like, how do how do you how do we continue to grow the the under uh, opportunity uh, people yeah. that uh, opportunity uh, people yeah. that they, they see the underdogs? It's like the yeah. Um, well, I think that um, I think it comes from a bit of just being aware of some of the realities, and I think it comes from pulling pulling people pulling talent and people forward wherever we see it, you know. And, and um, being willing to look in all corners for it and, and erase, you know, what can be some of the barriers to it. I think, you know, um, it can be a simple thing like, you know, um, looking at resumes blind, you know, making sure, you know, you're, um, you're just truly looking at talent and, and, and the voice of that person. So I think it's something that has to be adjusted for. Um, but I also think that, you know, it's interesting in your last question, because as a, as a observer to the director role, I would say that, um, you know, it's just getting out there and making stuff and putting yourself forward. And I think for um, all of us, you know, representing, you know, for me, looking out for women, I look out for how girls and women are represented in our films, um, really trying to steer away from tropes, but it takes, you're right, it takes people representing all these different angles to really have that perspective and to look out for it. So I think it's really important to bring it in. There's so much to hear from each other, but I think it has to be deliberate is really, I think what I, I wanna say, and we have to, um, to, to find it. And I think for everybody up and coming, we have to remove obstacles and get rid of the Brunos in the, you know, the negative uh, voices and, and just go for it. Yeah, well, thank, uh, take care. Thank you, very nice to meet you. Thank you.